Good morning, Internet. It's not morning. It's night. Good evening, Internet. As usual, I have a kitty. Its own kitty. I now have two topics that are on my queue to, of things to speak about. One being the how to install Linux. You were not supposed to attach yourself to my hoodie. The second now being recommended would be food. I like food. Food? Food! Food! Anyway, today I wanted to talk with you about the more serious conversation topic that I actually intended to do yesterday that is computing. What it means to me, the reason why it's so special. This is probably going to be a short topic because I'm not very good at these types of things. Um, I grew up with computers. I The first time that I was sat in front of a computer was at three weeks old. Obviously, I didn't do anything back then. Um, I read the MS-DOS manual when I was five. Um, started programming when I was five. Had my first PC of my own when I was ten or so, which... That doesn't sound like a whole bunch to those of you that are a bit younger than me, but my first PC is slower than your keyboard. No, it's probably the same speed as your keyboard. Still. I grew up with computers. Computers were my, one of the few constants in my life once I moved to Florida. Um, I originally lived in New Hampshire. I have moved around a lot in my life, by the way. Um, the house that I'll be moving into will be my 28th place that I have lived in in my life. So a little bit less frequent than once a year I'm moving. As a result of that, while yes, I made friends very easily, I tend to make friends pretty fast, probably because I move so much, but each time that I would move I would have fewer friends. It Probably mostly psychological on my part, why bother making a whole bunch of friends if you're just going to leave them anyway? I know, kind of depressing, I apologize, but computers on the other hand, a computer was a friend that didn't leave me. It got moved with me. I didn't have any brothers or sisters, so I didn't really have anybody to speak with when it came to new places, but I did have my computer to keep me occupied. I could start trying to fiddle around, try and figure out more interesting ways of mangling DOS to make it do my bidding. Yes, that's actually where I started fiddling around with such things. Um, I would play video games. I would write things, write programs, very simple ones that I could probably do in my sleep by now. It was my form of entertainment. I didn't have brothers or sisters. I didn't have... Well, I have a family. It was just the fact that I was in a single parent family household, so I didn't get a chance to play much of anything with my parents. Uh, my father would play video games with me, but... Computing, in any case. Computing was the way that I got out. Growing up, I used to log into BBSs. Uh, for those of you that are from the current generation of internet access, a BBS or bulletin board system was essentially a computer system that you can use a dial-up modem to dial directly into rather than back in the olden days when you would dial up to your internet provider. You can dial up instead to a bulletin board system. A bulletin board system is, well, a bulletin board. Think of it like message forums today. That was the primary use of a bulletin board system. There were also files hosted. I guess you would say that would be the predecessor to modern uses of Usenet. Um, definitely not torrents. Torrents were a bit different, but you can download games. I downloaded lots of demos of games that way. You could not really spend a whole bunch of money. Some BBSs were pay, but Basically, that was the version of the internet that I had. You would obviously be talking with more local people unless you wanted to rack up a lot of long distance charge. So I got a chance to speak with people in my area. Got to chat with them, say hi, talk to them on forums. I've been typing for most of my life. I have a pretty decent grasp of the English language, if I do say so myself. My 
written language has been substantially better than my spoken, which is the reason why I trip over my tongue perpetually, even though those of you that know me online know that I type and respond extremely quickly. It's because I have, I actually speak slower than I type, so it's a little bit harder for me to enunciate things. Anyway, the whole point is that I got a chance to get to know people without them realizing what I looked like, what my age was. They didn't see me as the short fat kid that basically computer. The short fat kid that basically couldn't really exercise outside because Florida was too hot and I would just start feeling like I was about to die the moment I tried to exert myself. Yeah, believe it or not, that's actually what was going on. My parents still don't believe me on that. Um, they didn't look at me and go, wait, you're only like nine? Why do I want to talk with you? You're just a little kid. When all I wanted to talk about was computers. Not like computers are all that different, whether you're 9 or 19 or 29 or 39 or 59. They're still there. If you interact with them, you probably interact a similar way. You may not have the same uses or things like that, but back then, yeah, it was probably very similar. Computers were the way that I got to prove to the world that I was not just an ordinary kid. I've been fixing computers my entire life, as in troubleshooting them when I was 10, 11. Um, I didn't put together my first computer until I was 13, but still. Computers were the way that I can go, hey look, I'm awesome at something. Believe it or not, it is possible for a little kid to be very knowledgeable and well beyond that of my peers or adults or pretty close to anyone for an extended period of time. It's one of the reasons why I was so interested in them, one of the reasons why I wanted to grow up to become a programmer or a computer game designer is because this is what I was good at. There's a saying, I can't remember who actually originally said this, but basically if you study something for 10,000 hours, you are a master. I probably had that down by the time I was 16. I guess what I'm trying to say is that computing was the way that I existed. The way that I can prove to the world that I really was different and not just perpetually calling myself weird and not really proving it. Hello, Sin still exists today. I still fiddle around with computers, even though I work with computers all day long. I still break operating systems to make it do my bidding. I still play video games. There's not really much change in that regard, other than the fact that my computers are thousands of times faster. You're lucky today. You get both cats. I'm going to stop this recording for now. I'm right around an hour. By the way, I've been using my new tripod this entire time. I was going to upload a first video of my tripod, but I figured out that it was flipped vertically. Oops, I must have my camera upside down, and I would have thought it would have rotated and handled that with the gyroscope. Oh well, um, if I find a way of rotating it pretty easily, I'll probably upload that. Enjoy. You even get to hear it soon purr a little bit. Or not. <laughs>